everyone. Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to celebrate the embedded system design using 8051 microcontroller and 16 trust 2 LCD display. So this is the 16 trust 2 LCD display. In most of the embedded products, you could have seen the 16 trust 2 LCD display, which has two rows and 16 columns, which is in short, it is called a 16 trust 2 LCD display. And one more interesting thing with respect to LCD display is LCD displays are the only very low power consuming displays in the world. Hence, whichever application which using uh, battery, definitely those application will use only LCD displays. Let us look at this in detail. Look at the screen here. So here, LCDs are the most energy efficient display systems. Hence, every battery operated handheld embedded systems has LCD displays to save power. Few examples are the first example is our digital multimeter which is a battery operated embedded system which uses LCD display and the second example is our calculator scientific calculator which is also an embedded system which uses LCD display hence it is battery operated system. And the third interesting product is our thermal scanner which uses LCD display because it is battery operated system and uh, digital thermometer is also having an LCD display because it uses battery and uh, there is a Tata Indica Marquee which is our cordless phone uh, in 2005 this was much popular and this uh, Tata Indica Marquee is also having the LCD display because it is battery operated embedded system and recently wherever we go in a bus the bus conductors are giving the tickets only in the gadgets like this this is ticket vending machine this ticket vending machine is also having an LCD display where which is a battery operated embedded system and again most interestingly all of our swipe card uh, machines is also a battery operated devices which uses LCD displays whether it is a chip card also the same thing is happening so nowadays we are wearing the wristband wristband is also having the LCD displays if you take all the products all these products are battery operated products and the displays of all these products are only LCD displays this is very interesting and this is the sixth uh, video presentation in this lecture series it is requested to see all the series in sequence for better understanding to help you i'm just briefing about which are all the five videos which was posted already in the youtube channel in the corresponding abcd playlist the first video talks about understanding embedded systems and iot as simple as abcd in this first presentation we will understand what is embedded system and what is iot how embedded systems are related with iot in a simple way as abcd after understanding this when you look at the second presentation we can understand the Difference between microprocessors and microcontrollers through a king kingdom and a rainbow story, which is much interesting. After looking at the second presentation, we will come to the third presentation where we are going to discuss about the embedded system hardware design using the fundamental 8051 microcontroller. So we know that embedded system is 3D that is dedicated hardware and dedicated software combined together to form a dedicated product. So making of 1D means making of dedicated hardware for an embedded system. Using AD51 microcontroller is being discussed very clearly in the third presentation, which includes the initialization of this AD51 microcontroller, which includes power supply, crystal oscillator, RG memory, access power on reset, pull up resistors, etc., and making the hardware board for the AD51 microcontroller based embedded system board for a embedded system design will be dis is discussed in the third video presentation. And in the fourth video presentation, we are going to discuss about the second D and third D, that means embedded software development with the world's smallest C code. It's why it's surprising. You have to look at the fourth video for uh, looking at the surprise and integrating the dedicated hardware and dedicated software to form a dedicated product, which is called as making of 3D. So here you look at the screen here. This is the world's smallest code, which is an embedded code. And uh, making of this software is being discussed very clearly in the fourth uh, presentation. And uh, the integration of dedicated hardware and dedicated software and how it becomes a dedicated product is being described very clearly in the fourth video. If you look at the first four videos, it describes the complete embedded design life cycle. So that is what the first thing. Then the fifth video talks about the seven segment displays where these are all the products which use a seven segment display. Look at the screen here. So these are all the several products which use a seven segment displays. So if you are making a similar products means definitely we must know how to interface a seven segment display. That's why the fourth video gives the clear information about the fifth video gives the clear information about how to interface a seven segment display. 
to display the decimal numbers from 0 to 9. Now, coming to this presentation, here we are going to discuss about how an alphanumerical characters are getting displayed in a LCD display. So, for that we have to, we have chosen 16 trans to LCD display which is much popular. So, embedded product which uses 16 trans to display is very common product which you have used commercially is coin box. So, the purpose of choosing coin box is everyone could have experienced this embedded system. This coin box, whatever make it is, it uses a 16 trans to LCD display. So, the coin box itself is earning money because of the presence of 16 trans to LCD display. So, presence of 16 trans to LCD display is talking to the user in a simple English word. That's very interesting and uh, let us look at the screen. So, coin box itself is earning money because of the presence of 16 trans to LCD display. It interacts with the user by displaying the current status in the user friendly English language like. So, I am just taking you to the uh, experience with the uh, coin box. You, you could have seen all these things in the coin box LCD. So, insert coin will come when you take the receiver and uh, it will ask for dial the number. After inserting the coin, it will display the dial the number and uh, when we start dialing, it displays the numbers like 8666807542 and after that it displays dialing and when the called subscriber has taken the handset then it will show the seconds count 60, 59, 58 and it comes up to 20. If the count reaches 20 for every second the beep sound will come. So this beep sound is indicating right to insert the next coin. So when you insert the coin 60 seconds will add to it and it continues. Hope uh, you remember all those things. So this is just because of LCD. So it speaks to the user to notify the status, current status of the corresponding things. So it's very interesting, right? So the presence of this 16 trust LCD display in the coin box made the coin box very user friendly and without any human assistance, it earns money by itself. It's very interesting. So it is necessary for us to know how this works and what is the secret behind the 16 trust to LCD display, how it displays alphanumerical characters, all those things we are very much interested to know. So for that, that is the prime objective of this presentation. So understanding the concepts of alphanumerical display. Look at the screen here. So first and foremost requirement is 5 cross 7 matrix to display alphanumerical characters. As 7 segment display is a standard to display the decimal numbers 0 to 9. Look at the screen here. So there is a 7 segment display. With the help of the 7 segment display, it is very easy for us to display the decimal numbers from 0 to 9. So as long as there is a number, 7 segment display is more than enough. But when it is an alphanumerical characters like uppercase letters and lowercase letter, it is mandatory for us to have a 5 cross 7 matrix. Like so, it's a seven segment display is the standard for displaying the numbers. Five cross seven matrix is the standard to display the alphanumerical characters in a usable read format as shown here. So, this is the five cross seven matrix which has seven rows and five columns. Totally, there are 35 pixels per character. So, there are seven rows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows and five columns, and seven fives are 35. So, 35 pixels for a character. So, for example, if you look at the screen, here the uppercase letter B is getting displayed. So, in the 5 cross 7 matrix, in the first row, these four segments are glowing. In the second row, only these two segments are glowing. So, the pattern of this 35 LED glowing helps us to resemble like it is uppercase letter B. This is how all the uppercase letters, lowercase letters and special symbols are being displayed in the 5 cross 7 matrix. To understand much better, well, let us go to the next slide. So, displaying the alpha linear character using 5 cross 7 matrix. Now, you look at the screen, it is very interesting here. So, uh, here we can see the decimal numbers 0 to 9. Decimal numbers 0 to 9 here in a 5 cross 7 matrix. So this is 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is very much comfortable in 5 cross 7 matrix. And uh, the uppercase letters like A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. So look at the screen here. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, all the uppercase letters can be displayed very clearly. And all the lowercase letters can be displayed very clearly like a small A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. And there are special symbols like uh, exclamation mark. Uh, single quotes and double quotes and AND symbol, percentage symbol, hashtag, then plus, open bracket, close bracket, star, hyphen, full stop, comma, front slash, everything is very much comfortable. So, the presence of ICRA 7 matrix is more than enough to display all the uppercase letters, lowercase letters and special symbols etc. So, how do you write in pen and paper? The same way, it displays everything in the screen. If it is a 5 cross 7 screen, it's very interesting. So, to make an alpha numeric characters to be displayed in the screen, it is mandatory to have a 5 cross 7 matrix. So, that is the moral of this discussion. Now, the 16 cross 7 mat 16 cross 2 LCD display is also having 5 cross 7 matrix. 
in each segment. So that is being highlighted here. So there are two rows and 16 columns in a 16 trust to LCD display. In order to go there, it forms a 32 segment display. Each segment is a 5 cross 7 matrix, which is capable of displaying any alphanumerical characters as shown. So, and we all know to display the alphanumerical characters, there is an international standard called ASCII standard. What is ASCII? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So, let us look at the ASCII table to understand it much better. So, look at the screen. So, this is the ASCII table. So, what do you mean by the ASCII table is, let us take the computer keyboard. So, we have a keyboard. Let us assume the caps lock is on. Let us assume the caps lock is on. When you press A, the caps lock is on. When you press A means that A will never go from this keyboard to the CPU. Some binary value will go from the keyboard to the CPU. Am I right? So, what is the binary value? Binary value is called as ASCII value. So, the ASCII value, look at the screen here. So, the 41 is the ASCII value for this uppercase character A, that is capital A. So, when we press A, 41 will be serially transmitted from the 101 keyboard, that is computer keyboard to the CPU. So, after receiving 41, CPU will understand the user has pressed the capital A and it displays the capital A in the screen. Let us assume the caps lock is off. And if we are pressing the same A button means, now 61 will be transmitted from the keyboard to the CPU. So after receiving 61, the CPU will understand user has pressed the lowercase letter A and it displays the lowercase that means small a in the screen. So by receiving the hexadecimal equivalent of the corresponding alphanumerical characters, the CPU will display the corresponding characters in the screen. So this ASCII table is an international standard and this is one of the code. Okay, so now look at the screen here. So to display numbers from 0 to 9, there are hexadecimal values from 30 to 39 as shown. That means the 0 to 9, we need to add hexadecimal 30 to make it as an ASCII decimal numbers. So binary to ASCII code conversion means adding hexadecimal 30, we can convert the binary value to ASCII value. So only if it is ASCII value transmitted to the CPU, then only we can display 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is very interesting. And similarly, as discussed, so the uppercase letters A, B, C, D, F, G, for that, the hexadecimal equivalent values are 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, etc. And the lowercase letter means 61, 62, 63, 64, etc. as shown. And for the special symbols, so 21, 22, 23, etc. So look at the screen here. There, what is 20? So 21 is exclamation mark. What is 20? Space bar. So when you press a space bar, so 20 is the character which will go. So when you press an enter, what will happen? So let us see line feed. You can see line feed. Line feed means what? Next line. We will come to the next line. Something like this. And uh, CR is nothing but carriage return. So for uh, carriage return, 0x, 0d will go. Something like this. So all the keyboards, 101 keyboards will have this ASCII table within it. And similarly, all the displays will have ASCII table within it. Without having ASCII table, none of the alphanumerical display systems will work. None of the keyboards will work. So this is the golden opportunity for us to understand the significance of ASCII table. Now let us look at the uh, fundamentals and the features of 16 trust to LCD. So that means 16 trust to LCD display is also displaying the alphanumerical characters. So for that, it uses the 5 cross 7 matrix that is very clearly visible in the screen now. So in the first row, first column, it is displaying A. So in the 5 cross 7 matrix, like this. So because it is displaying the alphanumerical characters, it understands the ASCII table. That means in the first row, first column, A is getting displayed, meaning what? 41 is being transmitted from some microcontroller to the LCD. After seeing 41, this LCD is, is displaying the capital A. That means this LCD itself is having so much of intelligence. Hence, we can call this LCD display. That is 16 trust to LCD itself is an embedded system. It's very interesting. From the microcontroller, we are giving some parallel data to the embedded system, which receives the hexadecimal value of the ASCII and it displays its corresponding characters in the corresponding uh, location. That is the this embedded systems intelligence. Now look at the screen here. Based on the command and data received from the microcontroller, it displays the alphanumerical characters in the 5 cross 7 matrix segment. So 16 trust to LCD itself is an embedded system as told, right? Now you can see here, the, there are two dots. There are two black dots in the rear side of this uh, 16 trust to LCD display. The presence of these two black dots is nothing but the processor and memory and all the necessary requirements of the LCD display. So look at the screen here. So, so processor, memory and all the necessary modules to display the ASCII characters are available in this LCD. So there are two chips in the rear side which is shown in the two black circles. It's very interesting to understand this ASCII.
So now the address. So what are the address for this particular uh, 16 trust LCD? The first row the address starts from 80 and the first row last column address is 8F. The second row starts at C0 and the last column address is CF. So if you want to display the character in the first row, first column means the address is 80. We have to give the address as 80. Then we have to give 40. So capital A will get displayed, 41. Capital A will get displayed in the first row, first column. If you want to display the small A in the sec first, second row, first column means first you have to give the address as C0. C0 means the cursor will come here to the second row, first column. Then if you, give, if you send 61 means small A will get displayed in the second row, first column. So like this, it goes on. So now the here very interesting thing here. Um, this LC display receives the data parallelly. This LC display receives data parallelly through D0 to D7. Now, the 8-bit ASCII values in which address this ASCII character need to be displayed are transferred through D0 to D7 LCD. So here, the very important thing what you have to understand here is this cell, if the first row first column means 80. So 80 will also come through this and the first row first column some character has to be displayed. That means uh, if you want to display capital A means the 41 will come here. So 41 is also coming through this D0 to D7. 80 is also coming through this D0 to D7. So the LCD has to differentiate whether this is an address or whether it is a data. So to differentiate that what to do that is a prime requirement. So how to identify the incoming values either address or data. So for that we will go to the next slide. So how to identify the incoming values either address or data. So differentiate this is address our data. We need it another bit as we studied in digital electronics. Normally when you do in digital electronics means what? So let us take any microprocessor and microcontroller. Let us take a microcontroller. So normally microcontrollers will act in microprocessor mode and microcontroller mode. MP bar MC mode. So when you want to make use of it in microprocessor mode means we have to make it as 0. In microcontroller mode means we can make it as 1. That means this or that. If that condition comes means we are using some additional bit. When that bit is 0 means it is acting as a microprocessor mode. When it is bit is 1 means we are acting as a microcontroller mode. So similarly for read write. When it is 0 means you say it is right. When that bit is 1 means you can say it is read. So whenever there is a either or choice means we use another bit in the digital electronics. When that bit is 0 it is doing a reading job. When the bit is 1 means it is doing writing job. Like this here there is a need for us to differentiate whether it is an address or data. So for that we need a separate bit. By using the separate bit if that bit is 0 then we can say it is an address. If we say that bit is 1 means we can say it is a data. With respect to 16 rows to LCD the bit which differentiate address and data is called as register select bit. So now look at the screen which will explain it much clearly. So if the bit is 0 then it is an address. If the bit is 1 then it is an ASCII data. The bit which differentiate address and data is called as register select pin. In 16 trust to LCD the RS pin is the fourth pin as shown. So now you can see the fourth pin. So the fourth pin is register select pin. So when you make this pin as 0 the data available in this D0 to D7 is an address. When you make the Fourth pin as 1 means the data available in D0 to D7 is ASCII data. So it is up to us to make this fourth pin as 0 or 1 based on the value that we are keeping in the fourth pin. That is being discussed in this slide. It's very interesting. Okay. So similarly and uh, the 16 trust to LCD is considered as a uh, 32 location read rate memory. That means the transparent memory, something like this. So 16 trust to LCD assumed as a transparent rewritable memory, just 32 locations. So all the 32 locations have 32 addresses. So we can write into this rewritable memory or we can read from the rewritable memory. So to read or write, we need some other bit. That bit is the fifth bit which is called as read write bit as shown here. So when you are writing into the LCD, the fifth pin has to be 0. When you are reading from the LCD, the fifth pin has to be 1 which is shown clearly in this slide. Now, so there is a register select pin which differentiates command or data and there is a read write pin which says whether uh, the LCD is reading the data or whether the LCD is to the LCD the data is being written or not. Now, we have to enable the LCD. Now we have to enable the LCD to read the content from its pins. So let's look at the screen here. After keeping the necessary 8-bit address or data in D0 to D7 and register select signal and read write signal in the microcontroller port pins, we have to request the LCD to read these values. So to request the LCD to read the contents, we have to notify the LCD that all the relevant data are ready in the necessary pins. Yes. So to do that, we have yet another pin named as enable pin. You can see the screen here, there is an enable pin. So we have to give the pulse through this enable pin to make the LCD to read all the 8 plus 2 pin values. Once done, LCD will do the necessary display as per the instructions or command. It's very interesting. To summarize, the 16 trust 2 pin LCD 
has fourth pin as register select pin where it is zero means command and one means data fifth pin is read write pin zero means write and one means read and enable high to low pulse will enable which is four five six pin and seven to fourteen pin is a data line d not to d7 and uh, the first pin is ground second pin is vcc and third pin is some contrast control which is shown here so now we have understood the pin diagram of the 16 draws to lcd display so now we have enough intelligence to design the circuit for the 16 draws to lcd display yes let us make the hardware for the 16 draws to lcd display so the circuit diagram for 16 draws to lcd display is shown here in the screen here as per the right hand side table first pin is vss ground yes the first pin is grounded second pin is vcc 5 volts yes the circuit diagram shows 5 volts and third pin is contrast controls where there is a potentiometer so through this potentiometer we can adjust the contrast of the lcd something like how do we address adjust the contrast of our lcd mobile phone lcd screen our mobile phone here also the contrast adjustment is done through third pin by connecting a potentiometer to the third pin as shown here and 4, 5, 6 here you can see 4, 5, 6 which is connected to the microcontroller for register select, read, write and enable as discussed right now and 7 to 14 pin are the 8 pins for data and the 14th and 15th pin is nothing but LED so LED here is backlight so the LCD has a backlight LED so this backlight LED is 4th and 15th pin so when you make the circuit diagram circuit diagram is ready now and when you make a board the board will look like this so this is the board with a 16 trust LCD display where the 8 data lines are here and register select, read, write, enable for that the 3 separate control pins are there and the board is ready and when this board is interfaced with the motherboard. So this is called as daughter board and when this board is interfaced with the motherboard it looks like this. So there is a motherboard here which contains only the microcontroller and port pins. Here to port 1 we have connected the LCD data pins and P2.0, 2.1 and 2.2. So in the right bottom corner of the ADF2 microcontroller is to port 2. So 2.0, 2.1, 2.2 are register select, rewrite and enable. So this is the hardware structure of 16 trust LCD display interfacing. So we have made the hardware. Now you have to make the software for the 16 trust LCD display. How to write a software for an LCD display? As usual, we have to start with hash include reg51.h before going to that as told 16 trust to lcd itself is an embedded system so this embedded system will have some command words so what are all the command words or instructions these are all the some command words say for example in the last row it is shown as 38 38 means what two lines and five cross seven matrix so before that c0 is there what is c0 second row second row that means force the cursor to the beginning of the second line 80 means what first row address of the first row is 80 so force the cursor to the beginning of the first line and similarly uh, when it is one means it is clear display when it is four means decrement cursor when it is um, e means display on cursor blinking something like this these are all the command words where the display can accept so based on this command words we can make the we can customize the 16 trust to LCD display. So, now looking at the code for the 16 trust to LCD display. So the as usual we will start with hash include reg51.h. Why reg51.h? It was very clearly explained in the fourth uh, lecture series. Please go through that. So hash include reg51.h and here s bit what is s bit s bit means special function register bits as we know adf microcontroller has four ports and all the four ports are bit addressable that meaning all the 32 input output lines are bit addressable hence 2.0 is bit addressable which is named as register select 2.1 is read write and 2.2 is enable because the in the hardware 2.0 2.1 2.2 are connected to register select read write and enable pin of the lcd hence it is uh, initialized here in the software through the syntax s yes bit s yes bit means special function register bits p2.0 2.1 2.2 and there are there is a function called lcd command function what do you mean by lcd command function by using this lcd command we are making the register select pin as zero that, and there is something like lcd data function so there is a lcd command function and the lcd data function these two functions helps us to differentiate the address and data so for whenever we are giving an address we have to use the lcd command whenever we are giving the data we have to give the lcd data as per the data sheet register select is 1 means it is data register select is 0 means it is a command so for that two functions are there and 
let us see initialize this lcd so whenever uh, there is a peripheral means the peripheral need to be initialized here there is a lcd is a peripheral which need to be initialized for initializing this uh, lcd we need to use the command so command say for example lcd command 0x38 is the first instruction that means lcd command 0x38 means is the function call that means lcd command is a function for this function we are passing the parameter 38 so 38 is going to this value then value is 38 it is transferred to the port 1 after that register select is 0 and read rate is 0 and enable is 1 enable is 0 the enable 1 to 0 means it is giving a pulse so lcd will accept 38 when lcd accepts 38 what it will understand look at the screen here two lines and five cross seven matrix it's very interesting then we are sending the second command 0e what is the second command display on cursor blinking then we are sending the third command lcd command 0x01 what is 01 clear the display screen so 2 cross 5 cross 7 matrix display on cursor blinking and the clear the screen like this and we are sending 0x06 6 means what increment cursor increment cursor means what so whenever we are setting the data to the 80th location the first row first column location then automatically cursor will go to the second location which is 82 so these are all the initialization uh, codes which is mandatory for a 16 cross to LCD display. Hence, these codes are used in the LCD command function. Through this LCD command functions, these commands are transferred to the LCD, so LCD will initialized. Now we have to write the main code to display some characters. For that, let me take some example for us to understand something better. So these are all the addresses. So look at the table here. So the first row address are A0 to ATF and second row address are C0 to CF. And we are interested to display welcome to dsp laboratory so look at the screen here we are interested to display welcome to dsp laboratory this is the last third uh, table what is the second table second table has the ascii equivalent of this welcome to dsp laboratory say for example you look at the third row that is third table first row and uh, second row first row first column and second row first column is blank space for blank space the ascii value is 20 you see here so here the last uh, row last column is blank space here also you can see 20 so these are all the ascii values of the corresponding uh, value so for example w the ascii value is 57 for e the ascii value is 45 for l the ascii value is 46 so these are all the values which are transmitted to the corresponding memory location so when you are transmitting these ascii values to the lcd display lcd display will display welcome to dsp laboratory like this so this is the prime requirement so for this requirement we have to write a uh, while uh, while while loop because this has to display continuously so we know why while loop that has been discussed very clearly in the previous uh, lectures just go through that while one now look at the screen here so now command lcd command ad means what first row first column so because it is a command that is an we are sending an address hence lc command so first row first column the cursor will go to the first row first column now lcd data and with respect to c syntax one thing we have to understand within a single quote within a single quote whatever character that we will give its ascii equivalent will be transmitted that we must understand we must know that in a c syntax within a single quote what is being given means for that value the ascii equivalent will go so the first row first column the blank space is given in a single quote so the ascii equivalent of the blank space is 20 so 20 will be transmitted to the lcd so lcd will never display anything in the first row first column then you are sending w lcd data w lcd data w means it will send 57 because w is sent in a single quote in a single quote means for us it is w but for this w is ascii equal to 57 will be transmitted to the lcd so by receiving 57 lcd will understand this is w and it displays w in the 5 cross 7 matrix as per the discussion and similarly e l c o m e welcome and then space you can see here welcome space then two then space then dsp this is the first row so now the first row is over then the same function for the second row lcd command c0 so c0 is the second row and here you can see first two spaces are bank space so first two spaces are blank space then there is a quote special symbols are also there so quotes are there then laboratory so laboratory then again double quotes are ending here so double quotes and sasuke clone so the last line lcd data is 0x20 i am purposely i am writing 0x20 either you can give it in a single quote or you can give it as the ascii equivalent directly like this if you know the ascii values that's all so this is the syntax the rest of the thing we know very well so now the software is also ready fantastic 
everything is ready now we have to integrate both the hardware and software when you integrate both the hardware and software it has to work like this let us see how it is working so now uh, it's not working in the screen so let me go out and play this video outside so now let me play this video you have to see welcome to dsp laboratory is it possible for us to see welcome to dsp laboratory yes welcome to dsp laboratory in within double quotes fantastic so the 16 rows to lcd display is displaying welcome to dsp laboratory once again i am playing for this here the motherboard data board which is connected 2.0 2.1 lcd so here it is displaying welcome to dsp laboratory in a double quotes fantastic so now we have understood how to interface a 16 rows to lcd display so if there is any coin box related things if you want to generate means it will be very easy for us to design a coin box or anything so then sky is the limit that's all thank you very much thanks for watching thank you